All right, guys, what is going on? My name is Ollie Ward, and welcome back to the Ollie Ward channel. I hope you've all had a fantastic day and a fantastic few days while I haven't uploaded. Now, I'll tell you why I haven't uploaded in a little second. Guys, before we do get into the transfer news, and by the way, there is a lot of transfer news. Be sure to smash that like button. Let's try and smash 200 likes. I mean, last time, guys, I asked for 500 likes, and we actually hit it, which is insane. So maybe let's try and do it again. Also, subscribe if you are new, and comment today... Don't actually comment anything. I'm going to tell you why I haven't been here. Basically, guys, I've got myself a new job working at the BBC, a production apprenticeship, which is a bit is a bit mad for me. I found out today. So, so leave some nice comments in the in the comments down below. Yeah, maybe. Don't worry. I'm not ditching the YouTube thing. And I thought I'd tell you guys because you're like my best mates. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the Leeds United transfer notes. As you see, I'm quite happy, but I'm not happy about Rafinha. And while you clicked on this video, it looks like he might be on his way to Arsenal. The Rafinha situation for Brizio Romano tweeted this morning is Barcelona agreed personal terms with Rafinha, but no agreement on fee with Leeds. Arsenal are in direct negotiations with Leeds and they've been interested since March. Both Chelsea and Tottenham have been in contact too. Fee could be around 65 to 75 million. The thing is with the price tag with Rafinha at the moment, it's all over the place. Different people reporting different things. Fabrizio Romano says 65 to 75 million. I'm seeing reports of 40 uh, million euros, which is about 34 million pounds. I'm seeing around 50, 60 million. I've got a few screenshots of, of uh, prices, but I I'm not 100% sure. But it has come out recently in the, in the last hour that Arsenal will submit a 50 million bid for a uh, for Rafinha, sorry, that is reported by Gary Jacob. Um, uh, yeah, and again, it's, it's set to make a 50 million bid. The thing is, it's it's a weird one. I don't know how much I, I would take for Rafinha. I mean, when I when I saw 65 to 75 million, I thought, yes, please. But will Leeds United agree to that 50 million bid that Arsenal look like they are going to submit? Um, it's an, It's a weird one. I love Rafinha. I don't want Rafinha to go, but it looks like the player is pushing for that move away. A few weeks ago, or a few about a week and a bit ago, it said it came out that Rafinha rejected the thought of the Arsenal news. And this has come from another journalist. Again, I reported it on it, but it, it's not true. It looks like he wants to he wants to play Champions League football, which is weird. I don't know why he wants to go to Arsenal, but I think the thing is he now doesn't want to be at Leeds United, and he is pushing for that move. He wants that Barcelona move. Personals are agreed with Barcelona, but it doesn't look like Barcelona are fixing up the funds. And I think that 40 million euros bid was to do with Barcelona, which would be about 34 million pounds for your prize man, which which isn't right. I think anything between 50, 60 or 70 million is right for Rafinha. How much would you let Rafinha go? Leave it in the comments down below. It does look like Arsenal are ready to submit a bid in the next few days. Like I said, so many different um, bids coming in. So here we go. Legion United want 55 million euros uh, guaranteed plus 15 million euros in add-ons, which will be around 60 million pounds. So is that right for Rafinha? I kind of just want him off the, uh, to go now. Like I kind of want it for the highest bidder. Just take him. Same with Calvin. If they're not going to stay, I don't care. I just want my money so we can invest. I love Rafinha. I love Calvin. But let's just get these type of transfers done so we can focus on the incomings than the outgoings. Uh, leave it in the comments, though, how much you would get uh, for Rafinha. We're now going to talk about uh, Burnley centre-back Collins. Okay, Obviously, we know that uh, Leeds do want Collins, Nathan Collins. Burnley have set a price tag for the 21-year-old uh, amid interest from Leeds United, Newcastle, Aston Villa and Wolves. Um, it looks like, according to the Mirror, Burnley will only be listening to offers that are around £25 million to take the player off their hands. Uh, this price tag could either encourage teams to look at alternative options or maybe even put in a bid for the Burnley man. I called him uh, English last time. I did find out that he was Irish. That's my fault. But yeah, I, I like the look of Nathan Collins. I don't know. I mean, maybe this Calvin money, maybe this Rafinha money will help buy in players like that. So... You never know. I I do like the look of him. He could go to a Newcastle or whatever. Is this? I mean, last time I said centre backs were not. We didn't need centre backs, but if you actually look at our goal record, it's not very good at all. And this has been going around on Twitter at the moment. Which uh, centre back partnership say we didn't bring one in? Um, who would you start with? Would it be Cooper and Koch, Lorente and Koch, Lorente and Cooper, Pascal and Cooper? Who would you leave in the comments down below? Like, what are you saying should be the centre back partnership if we don't sign? 
say like a Nathan Collins or another centre back. Uh, this next bit of news has come from Mike McGrath, I believe, who works at Sky Sports. Uh, LUFC, I have interest in Belgium under twenty one midfielder Romeo Lavia, like we uh, spoke about last time, who was part of the Man City first team squad last season as they looked to strength from the squad. People are saying that might be the Calvin replacement. Um, not a massive fan that that would be the replacement, but uh, it's it's a weird one. It's He's a youngster. We don't have a lot of youngsters in central mid. We have Lewis Bate, but I, I don't know. I, I like the look of him. I've looked at him a few times now, uh, and now we're also talking about um, the young striker at Man City as well. I think it's McKate, McKatey? McKate, McKatey, McKatey. Uh, where have I got it? James McCatty. It's likely to stay at Manchester City, uh, despite people are looking at him. That's come from Sam Lee from The Athletic. Uh, James McCatty? Uh, that's that's an English name. How am I messing up that one? But yeah, we were looking at him as a striker option, but it does look like that is out the window as well. I'm sorry, we actually haven't spoke about Adama Traore. Um, Leeds have made a formal approach to sign Adama Traore with a fee as low as 18 million, likely to seal the signing of the Spanish and Wolves winger. Um, I tweeted out that Adama Traore is Dan James with a pure gym membership. And <laughs> you know, the thing is, if he does sign, of course, I'll back him the same way I've signed with everyone. He's a Leeds player then. But at the moment, I don't know if that's the right idea. Obviously, on the counter attack, Dan James and Adama Traore would be scary. And Auto likes him. Auto brought him in at Barra. So he does like him. Could we do it? I, I wouldn't mind Adama Traore, but I just don't think he is the answer to our questions. Leave it in the comments down below, guys. Like I said, there is so much more transfer news that I haven't even uh, spoke about yet. Uh, they're talking about Leeds United. We're back with Mike McGrath. He says LUFC are long-term admirers of Club Bruges' Noah Lang, but face competition from AC Milan and West Ham, who can both um, offer European football. Um, I wouldn't like Noah Lang. I think he's talented. I think he is very talented footballer, but I think his attitude absolutely reeks. I do not like it at all. Um, and I wouldn't want him anywhere near the club. Again, if we do sign him, I'd say, okay. But he, Adama Traore, I just don't think is good enough. Noah Lang is the attitude problem, and I really, I'm not a fan of it. He's just cocky. He's just really cocky. Um, we're talking about Sander Berg now. Obviously, he is another one who is the central defensive mid-cover um, that people are saying that could be the Calvin Phillips replacement. He has now come out that he has a 35 million release clause in his contract. A bit much for me, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I like the look of him, but I don't know if I'd pay 35 million for him. Leeds United have no intention of letting Jack Harrison leave this window as well. That's from Talksport. Uh, what other ones we've got? Like I said, guys, I told you I've got a lot of transfer news. This one came out recently. It was in German, but I did translate it into uh, English. Uh, Tyler Adams remains on Leeds United's shortlist, according to the info of, I believe this is, I'm not 100% sure who this is, Pletty Goal, I believe it's a German um, news source. Other Premier League clubs are also showing interest. Leipzig would let Adams go on a fair uh, market offer. Uh, apparently, they do have an upgrade already in their position. So they are looking to get rid of Tyler Adams. Maybe Leeds just need to uh, go after it. Um, I believe that's everything I spoke about. Obviously, Leeds are still going in strong for the £17 million youngster, Arnold Callum Wando, the PSG striker. So all looking good there. I think Leeds do want him. So, guys, I believe that is everything. Rafinha to Arsenal looks like he could be on his way there. Adama Traore as well to Leeds. Could that happen? The youngster from Man, uh, Man City, under-21, Romeo uh, Lever could be coming into Leeds United. Obviously, Jack Harrison to stay. Tyler Adams we could push for. A lot of transfer news, guys, and I hope I've wrapped that up for you because it starts in the morning and then it just builds. We didn't have much news yesterday and then all this comes out today. So it's a lot of transfer news to, to get in, but I hope you guys did enjoy this. Who would you like to bring in uh, for Leeds United? Let me know in the comments down uh, down below. Sorry, Be sure to smash that like button. Let's try and smash two to 500 likes. That would really make this man happy. Also, subscribe if you're new. Let's try and get 10,000 subscribers as quick as we can. And also, comment today how much the Rafinha thing is. Say well done on the BBC, you know. You know, you know, you know. next Gary Lineker? Maybe not. Uh, and also, just leave who you'd want in the comments down below. Guys, I've been Ollie Ward. I'm returning with transfer videos. I hope you guys did enjoy it, though. Without further ado, I've been Ollie Ward. You guys have been excellent, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheery!